Good morning. Hey there. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, depending upon where you are in the world. And when you are watching this, whether you're tuning in live or watching the replay, as always, do me a favor, say hello. Let me know that you are tuning in today. Let me know where you're tuning in from. All the things. Um, I definitely want to say, I want to apologize to you for last week. I did go live last week and unfortunately about five minutes before I was wrapping up, my internet went out. They were in the area doing some work and it ended up being out for a couple of hours and I wasn't able to come back and redo the live because I had a really busy schedule last week. So my deepest apologies to you if you if you were tuned in last week when I was live and I just got cut off. I apologize if you just were looking for me last week and were like, hey, what happened to Trisada? That's what happened. We had Wi-Fi issues. So anyway, but I am here today and I'm excited for today's topic. We're going to be talking about mastering email management in just 15 minutes because, you know, I like to keep these short and sweet so that you can get the most out of our time together because you're busy and I get that. And so I want to share with you some actionable tips that you can take right now, implement into your daily life so that you can increase your productivity and maximize your efficiency. So one of the reasons why I want to talk about email today is because we spend a ton of time in our email these days. It is the one of the main ways of communication now since technology has continued to advance, right? So uh, um, on average, we spend a little over three hours a day in our email. That's insane. Um, if you think about kind of just your work day, um, and of course, some of that includes personal time as well, but um, just in your work email, if you're working eight hours a day, you're spending Three of those, a little over three of those eight hours just managing email. And it's projected by 2025, so just a little over a year from now, that four, there will be 4.6 billion email users worldwide, right? So that's a ton of people, a um, ton of hours, a ton of people using email on a day to day basis. And when you can get sucked into email land, right? It can really have an impact on your productivity, right? Because a lot of the time email, is, a lot of the emails that we get are just kind of answering common questions. They don't really add to the workload that we have, or it doesn't directly impact our core work or our, our core genius that we do at, you know, on our jobs. And when you are dealing with email as a interruption, right? If you're working on something, you're doing focus work and you've got emails flying in and you're stopping to address emails, then what could end up happening is you kind of lose focus on whatever the task was that you're working on. And according to a study done by the University of California in Irvine, it can take up to like 23 minutes just for you to be able to regain your focus again. And so that's a lot. If you think about it, if you had 23, min 23 minutes of focus work time added back to your productivity, how much more effective, how much more productive could you be? Right. And I'm going to share with you today a few strategies that you can use in order for you to minimize the distractions that email can play into your work day. All right. Um, hold on. I just realized I did not pull up the comments today. There we go. That way I can see. So feel free. If you have questions as I'm going throughout, feel free to drop those in the comment section. I will be happy to answer your questions at the end. Um, Cause I realized that 15 minutes isn't really enough to go deep into this. Uh, but I also want to make sure that I'm answering the things that are most important to you. So today I'm going to share with you three email management strategies that are going to help you to manage your, make the most, right? Make the most of your time and ensure that you are actually addressing the 
uh, emails that come into your inbox in a way that is efficient and effective, right? So the first one is to prioritize. I talk about prioritization all the time, but it's really important for you to prioritize your emails, right? You need to know what type of email is urgent, what type of email is important, and what type of email is non-urgent. One of the things that I like to teach is the um, inbox zero. It's a one touch email management process. And I'll just really quickly kind of walk you through that. I go much deeper into my inbox, um, into it inside of my inbox zero masterclass. Um, but essentially, and you sp allocate a couple times a day for you to manage your email and you go through one by one and determine whether or not uh, you can answer that email within two minutes or less. Well, first of all, do you even need to answer the email? Do you need to respond? Is there anything that you actually need to do with the information? Um, if it does require a response, if you can respond to two minutes or less, then just go ahead and respond. And then that email either gets archived or deleted, depending upon your um, email man management processes. Then if it's something that you do need to respond to, but it's going to take you more than two minutes to respond, then you have a folder set aside, um, an additional folder where you put that in for a to do, right? And you put a task on your calendar for you to revisit that particular email at a specific time. That way you've touched it, you've moved it, and you're going to you're going to deal with it at the time that you actually end up are going to work on it. And then also, is this an email? If it's not an email that you need to respond to, it's just kind of for your information. You determine, OK, is this something that I need to um, hold on to? Is this information I'm going to need at a future time or is this just, you know, general information that once I once I've read it, I don't need any more. Then you can just delete it or archive it. That's going to help keep your inbox empty and clean so that you can focus on your most important work. And then you've also got tasks on your schedule to come back to the things that you actually need to address because it is a moot. And when I say inbox zero, right, we're talking about your inbox only because now it has been moved out of your inbox onto a to do list. Right. And I like to think of your inbox as a to do list that other people get to write on. So that's kind of how you can prioritize the emails that come into your inbox. The second tip or second strategy is to set boundaries, right? Just a moment ago, when I started introducing the one touch email system, I mentioned going into your email specific times of the day, right? So rather than spending three hours in your email each day or a little over three hours in your email each day, you set aside say 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes in the afternoon for you to go into your inbox to address whatever emails that are coming in. Now it's totally up to you. Can, you can just do one hour all at one time, or you can split it up into 30 minutes. It's really up to you. And I know for a lot of people, they get anxiety around the um, idea of not being in their inbox all day long. But here's, here's the thing. If something is super urgent, people need to pick up the phone or maybe send you, if you're using Teams, whatever messaging software that your company or organization uses, that is what that communication is for. You don't, no one sends it. Well, I won't say no one. Rarely will someone send an email where they need something immediately. They're going to either pick up the phone or use some sort of direct message type communication so that they can get the information quickly. Right. Um, so establish specific times of the day that you're going to address your email and you're going to use the prioritization method that I mentioned to you earlier. Um, when you have less interruptions from your email throughout your actual focused work time, you're going to be much more productive. Because remember, I talked about how in that University of California study, it takes 23 minutes to regain your focus after you've been interrupted. So by having these specific time blocks, you're going to reduce the amount of time that you're going to lose from switching back and forth between the work that you're working on and going back to um, going into your email. And 
another thing that's, you know, a lot of people, like I said, get a little anxiety around not being in their inbox and like, well, what if I miss an important email? Or what if my boss is trying to get a hold of me? Listen, set the expectation with your team and clients as to how you manage your email. So say to them, if it is something urgent, pick up the phone and call me or send me a direct message. Otherwise, I'm going to respond to your email within X amount of time. That's one of the things that I do with my clients. I always say to them, send me an email. Most likely I will respond within a couple hours, but most definitely I will respond within 24 hours. If you need me urgently, send me a message on Voxer because that's the communication that I use with my clients, right? So when you express what your boundaries are with regard to email, then you train people how to communicate with you in a way that is most effective and productive for you. The last strategy that I want to share with you is to use templates and automations to help you save time. One of the things that I really like to that I really like to do is for emails that I send on a consistent basis, right? Because we all have communication that we have to send that is basically the same information over and over. And maybe you have a Word doc or maybe you type it from scratch every time, or maybe you have like a Word doc that you use that you copy paste. Here's a little um, quick tip. You can take that email template and set it as a signature, right? You can set it as a signature in your email and then just switch your signature to whatever that template is. And you can just change the information for the specific person that you're sending it to um, and the key points and information that you need to send. Like for example, I have an, a client onboarding email that I personalize and I have it as a template. So when I get ready to onboard someone new, I just pull up that sig email signature, insert their name, make the appropriate adjustments for the specific coaching program that they've signed up for, how, what, uh, what link they need to use in order to schedule their calls and all the different things. I've got that as a template. So it takes me moments. That way I also don't forget to include important information in the email. By using templates, that's going to help to save you time. You can also take advantage of some of the email, your email management system automation tools. Like you can set up rules. So if you have specific emails that come in from, it could be a boss where you can have it, where it's when an email comes from them, it notifies you. Right. So maybe you turn your notifications off, but you have them specifically a rule set up to specifically be notified when you receive an email from your boss or from a high profile client. Um, or maybe you have certain emails from certain senders be routed to a specific box so that it's not in your inbox. So maybe you have newsletter subscriptions where you just want to go in maybe once or twice a week to go in and review your newsletters as opposed to having it cluttering up your inbox. Take a look, play around inside of your email client and see what kind of rules and automations you can set up to make your life easier. So just to recap, we've our three strategies for managing your email are to one, prioritize your inbox, set some boundaries around when and how you will respond to your emails and set up email templates and use automations in order to save you time, right? So I want to encourage you to choose, choose just one of these, right? Pick just one of the three to start implementing today, right today, right now, today, so that you can start to streamline your email management system and ultimately start to see significant improvements in your email management as well as your product activity. All right. So that's all I've got for you today. But I definitely want to encourage you if you are watching the replay of this, feel free to drop questions in the comments, and I will be happy to come back and answer your questions, or to either do another live stream or to just answer your questions in the comments so that you can more effectively and efficiently manage your email and be 
your most productive self. I will see you right back here next week, Tuesday for another Teach Me Tuesday in 15 minutes or less. Have an amazing day and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.